Welcome to another session of Putheti videos. The class begins. Now let's discuss the components of immune system. Everything starts with pluripotent hematopoietic stem cell. As the name suggests, they are multipotential stem cells. They can take form of any immune cells here. The cell may transform into a lymphoid progenitor or a myeloid progenitor cell. Let's look into lymphoid progenitors first. They can become B cells or T cells. Depending upon where they mature, B cells undergo positive and negative selection in bone marrow and migrate to spleen and lymph nodes to complete their maturation process. The lymphoid progenitor that migrates to thymus undergoes positive and negative selections and mature into a variety of T cells. Now let's move on to myeloid progenitors. In blood, they can become granulocytes. The granulocytes are, as the name suggests, have granules. Also, as the name suggests, they have a unique morphology bearing nucleus. A tip for you to remember the cell names under granulocyte category is BEN, B for basophil, E for eosinophil, N for neutrophil. Another tip to remember is all the granulocytes have fill in common in their names. My mother used to be very particular about my behavior in my childhood. As she believed, people are categorized by their behavior. If a teenager smokes, he's categorized as smoker. If he drinks, he's categorized as drunkard. And if he took drugs, he's categorized as drug addict. No matter how one functions in the society, what one contributes to the society, one is always categorized by one's weaknesses. Similarly, no matter how these granulocytes help in defending us from pathogens, basophil is named so as it has the components that stain with the basic dye. It's named basophil. It stains blue. Eosinophil stains red with eosin dye. Neutrophils stain with, you guessed it, neutral dye. And it turns pink. Remember, there are other myeloid cells that have granules, but only these three are named granulocytes. Moving on, myeloid progenitor can generate into monocytes and mature into macrophages, which are very important in innate immunity. Before moving on to the next cell types, a self-commercial break. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Okay, myeloid progenitors turn into mast cells and megakaryocytes. The megakaryocytes break down into platelets. Myeloid progenitors also give rise to erythroblasts that turn into erythrocytes. So except T cells and B cells, all other immune cells are myeloid cells. What you don't get to learn in the textbook is what are NK cells and what are dendritic cells? That's my signature. That is to show off that I made this artwork for this tutorial, like all the artworks of my channel. So these are the components of immune system, my friends. Thank you.